I want to talk about the first book for the episode tonight for Love Island USA. Um, I'm going to start with Kendall. Okay, why would they sit there and make it look like that boy paused when Nicole was like, oh, if you say that, you got to mean it. We all know that he means it. Like, <laughs> that boy is controlling and he's going to hold on to Nicole as tight as he can. Like, as long as she don't do nothing, like, talk to another guy or something. Which she won't. We know she won't. So... It's funny that they're trying to edit that and make it look like some drama there. We know. We know what he said, girl. All right, moving on. Um, meeting the parents. Cordell and Serena was talking about meeting each other's parents. That is so cute. I'm sorry. No other couple compares to them. I don't care what y'all say. In the villa, they're the top couple. And if they don't win, y'all know something going on. Okay? Um, speaking of Winnie, we cannot split the votes again. Okay, like last season, uh, UK, we split the votes between Ella and Ty and Whitney and Walken. And the other couple, I don't even remember their name. They ended up, ended up winning. What was her name? Jen? Something. Y'all know the couple that won. But that was not the way it was supposed to happen, clearly. So we cannot, I mean, we cannot do that again. People think like, oh, this person has a good fan base. We don't need to vote for them. No, if everybody thinks that, then they're gonna, the, that couple's going to be in the bottom. So we need to choose between Serena and Cordell and Janae and Kenny. And I'm sorry, y'all. In my opinion, I don't see it there. I don't know what y'all are seeing between Janae and Kenny. Maybe Janae, yes, she has real feelings. But Kenny, I'm not so sure. Like, they don't show us enough. Maybe, maybe they're not showing us. I don't know, y'all. I just don't see it. And I'm not being biased. Like, with, with um, Serena and Cordell, I see it there. Like, they've been together from the beginning. I really see it. But Janae and Kenny, I, I don't know what it is about it. I At first, I was thinking more he was doing it just to have a strong couple. But even if he has real feelings, I just don't see the chemistry. It feels like they're together just to be together. Not because they really like each other's personality, but because they want to have somebody. You know, that if, that's the best way I can explain it. Leah and Miguel are cute to me. Um, I don't see the chemistry as far as them lasting. I see the chemistry with them, you know, laughing with each other. I think it's cute, but I don't think they're compatible as far as Miguel on Miguel's end. He doesn't seem like the type to settle down. So, yeah, they shouldn't win either. Even though I love Leah, I think they should be third place. Janae and Kenny should be second, and Serena and Cordell should be first. Serena and Cordell is the only one I see, like, really working outside of the villa. In the preview, I saw that they were getting on Rob in that little comp sports competition. I love it. I'm here for it. Get them again. Get them again for me. Okay, because a lot of people are saying, oh, I want Rob and Leah back together. Are we forgetting what Rob did? I think a lot of people are forgetting because he treated Leah so bad. And honestly, I didn't pay attention much to the first couple of episodes with what happened with Liv. But I was for sure there for what happened with Andrea, boo. And he dropped Leah like that. like, And he really gaslighted her and manipulated her into thinking she was the problem. So why would y'all want that back? He sucks. And he's shown that pattern with every single female that he's been coupled up with. He always finds something wrong with them and tries to turn the tables and make it seem like they're the problem. He did that with Leah. He did that with Daniela. And if Andrea was there longer, he would have done that with her. I promise you that. So he likes to be the victim and he will find any little thing to try to flip it and make it look like the girl is wrong so he can leave. That's his MO. As far as that little preview with Aaron setting up a date or something for Kayler, I cannot stress this enough. Stop showing us that couple. I'm so sick of seeing them. It's so obvious that he manipulates her and treats her so bad. He has no remorse for anything he does and he doesn't have to because no matter what he does, Kayler is going to forgive him. So he sees that. We all see that. So why would he act right? I'm so sick of them. Get them out of here. I hope that the vote, the last vote, we were successful in getting them out first and foremost. But if it's, if not them, at least Robin Daniela or somebody, please. I'm so sick of Aaron Taylor.